Who's gonna make us breakfast when mommy's gone? Uh, <laughs> Owen's gonna make some scrambled egg tacos. He is. I'm, I can make quesadillas for yeah, breakfast, lunch, and breakfast. dinner. <laughs> yeah. We've been living off frozen burritos and cold tomato soup. Sounds pretty good. Good morning, my friends. Today is kind of a special and little bit of a hard day. I'm going to be packing and preparing to say goodbye to my family for 10 days, which is a very, very long time, but it's going to be worth it. So if you remember, if you've been watching the channel for a while, last year I traveled to Bulgaria with a group of photographers and spent a week doing an intensive photography workshop that was so beneficial and so wonderful. And God bless my husband. He really encouraged me to do the same this year. Only this time, the group is going to be heading to Spain. So my friend Amber and I, who just lives down the street, she was willing to come with me. And lucky for me, she speaks fluent Spanish. So we're getting ready to head out in just two days to Spain for 10 days where we're going to meet up with our group and spend the week doing some wonderful photography work, which I'm so excited for because I'm going to be focusing on producing some new pieces for Limone, where we're now selling posters and our fine art prints over there. So I have an objective going into this trip. It's really difficult for me to leave my family. And I so badly wish that Stu could come with me. I don't like not having him and sharing these experiences with him. It's super hard for me to leave everybody behind, but I know that it's going to be worth it. And he is totally capable. He's going to hold down the fort here with all the kids and all the homeschool and all the animals. God bless him. And I'm going to go gallivanting off through Spain for 10 days and hopefully taking some really beautiful pictures in the process and kind of taking some time to invest in my craft and to get better. So it's a really special, hard, lovely week ahead, and I'm really excited. I'm not Italian by heritage, but I am by heart, and that's one of the many reasons I bring Bona Fortuna into my home. There's a special link for you to shop with below. Bona Fortuna makes it possible to stock your pantry with dried heirloom grain pastas, pure cold-pressed olive oils, aged balsamic vinegars, a variety of the best tomato sauces, biscottis, almonds, pistachios, even prepared pestos and tapenades. Their pasta is made with heirloom grains and organically grown. Bona Fortuna is working hard to offer something perfect to the world. I've got a special link for you to shop with below. Enjoy shopping and stocking your pantry with these wonderful Italian pantry staples that you'll soon fall in love with, just like I have. There is something that's so comforting about food. So whether I'm heading off on a grand adventure or our family is going somewhere together, even if we're just sitting down to the table at the end of a busy day, the food is what defines it. It's what bookends it. It's what brings us comfort, what brings us sustenance, what brings us variety or spice or flavor. And today is no exception. The night before, I'm getting ready to go to Spain, and I knew exactly what my family needed. They needed pasta. The answer is always pasta. And so tonight, I thought, let's give them something comforting. And that's the exciting thing to me about food, is that it can match your needs, and it can match your energy. So when my energy is needing to bring some comfort to my home and to the people who live here, I know exactly what flavors and what foods to go for. I've gone ahead and roasted a beautiful butternut squash and I'm going to be pairing it with some crispy pancetta and sage. The recipe is so simple 
but I love preparing dishes like this, knowing the effect that they're going to have on the family. I don't know if you're like this, but when I think back to my life, I think back to different dishes, seasons of eating this or that, dishes that friends made me when I wanted some comfort, or even specialty salads that so and such would bring to the potluck. I remember all of these details, including foods that friends really like or really don't like. So when we talk about food defining emotions or defining periods of our life, that makes sense to me. So often I think back to a particular meal and not just the ingredients that make that meal, but the emotions that ultimately follow it. So while I know I'm going to go have this grand adventure in Spain and I'm going to be eating all kinds of new foods and trying new flavors, this is a way of sort of settling the soul before the adventure. And of course, what is pasta but to be shared? So my mom and dad came over to share our last meal together because this is what we do. We just sit down at the table, enjoy beautiful, delicious foods together. That is what brings us comfort. I know as soon as I return from the trip, I'm going to want to do the exact same thing. Whenever I come back from a trip, the first thing that I always want to do is bake bread and make some sort of soup with broth. Those two things are the bookend at the end of an adventure that say, hey, you made it. You're safe. You're back home. You're back where you're comfortable. Here's the food to match that emotion to do just that. I know at the end of the day, it's just squash and pancetta and sage and pasta and wine and cream and very, very simple things. But ultimately, isn't it so much more than that? My family knows exactly what I'm saying when I put this dish on the table. Okay, just one night left until I leave on this big trip and I'm starting to feel quite anxious. It's just hard to leave them, isn't it? Um, That being said, I have traveled quite a few times and there's some techniques that I like to employ now having done it. Um, Like these packing cubes that I packed my clothes into. They're just these little zipper compartments which kind of keep things organized. I've got a special new camera pack too. So that's gonna be its first maiden voyage. I've got my neck wrap and my little eye cover thing for the plane ride. I'll always take 
a clean shirt for the plane ride because you never know what's gonna happen. I always take my makeup, my camera, and my laptop. Those both travel with me in my backpack. So this is the only thing that I take on the plane with me. The big bag is going to be checked. Let's see. I've got my power adapter, my passport, a copy of my passport. This is a new fly kit that I'm going to try, which is supposed to help with jet lag. And since there is a nine hour time difference, I'm hoping that it helps. And I've got 25 euros to my name from my last trip that I just happened to have stashed away. So, oh, this is a little bit tricky. Gotta get everything where it's going. I have some protein bars and some beef jerky for my snacks. Um, I'm starting to get really, really excited.